is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new aew action figure news for you guys it is uh in the wake of the great wrestling weekend man we have some epic aew action figure news coming at you guys if you guys did not know over the weekend we actually had some reveals of aew unravel collection series number eight it wasn't like a big like announced thing and i want to say this was at like some event i don't even know what event this was but they showed it on the screen and then uh, ringside collectibles ended up posting them to their main page which was very weird like it, it, like i saw people posting it on their story like they were there at the event so i don't know where they showed this, I get. I don't know if this was like a Rampage event. Maybe they did this at like a Rampage after party or, or something like that. I don't know what the deal was, but they did showcase these figures, and I want to go through them with you, showcase them, let you guys know my thoughts, and then we'll take a look at the rest of AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 8 and, you know, talk about what we could possibly get with those or something. But let's go ahead and dive in, man. The first figure that we have an image of is going to be Trent from AEW Unrivaled 8. This is obviously just the render images, but we can, you know, we can we can take a lot in from these render images right here. So the first figure that we do have, guys, is going to be Trent. And I like this figure. It looks great. I like the head sculpt on it. The formula looks pretty solid. Uh, some people were saying that this didn't look like Trent. I think it looks like Trent. I don't have any problems with it. Forehead looks a little bit oversized, maybe, but I like what we got going on. I like the attire that they went with. This is uh, w one of his more popular gears that he's worn, so I, I like this. I don't have any issues with it. He does have his rubber jacket, which is a deal, you know. You don't, I don't know if anybody cares for the rubber jackets. We've seen the rubber jackets a lot, so, you know, it is what it is. However, I still like the figure a lot. It's got the, <laughs> you know, Trent actually rocks his Dolph Ziggler style boots, so that is pretty cool right there. So we can make a Dolph Ziggler custom, I guess, if we wanted to with the with the flap boots right there, which should be sculpted on there. AEW and Jazzwares does a really good job of giving us, you know, one of one molds and stuff like that. So this should be pretty good. I, I like it. I like the graphics. I like everything going on with it. The hair looks good and everything. So hopefully the scale will be great. And when it comes out in full render and everything like that, the Trent figure will be good. So let me know what you guys think of the Trent figure down below. But I like it. I like everything going on with it. The formula looks good. The tights look good and everything. So there is our Trent figure. The next figure that we do have, guys, is going to be Chuck Taylor. We have Chuck Taylor from AEW Series number 8. And this one is, I don't know, like it looks like Chuck Taylor. The head sculpt's a little bit funny to me. And the body mold is a little bit funny as well. Like it's definitely an odd body mold look. Uh, you got the open knee pads. Not the open knee pads. You have the open elbow pads, I'm sorry. But you have the white wrist tape. You have his entrance vest. You have the uh, the black attire right there. And then you have like this, I don't know, just the torso is so wacky looking, at least from the front. It may not look this bad or this weird once we get it in hand or once we get better images of the figure. But I don't know. It's definitely a, a weird looking render image, if you will, here with the, you know, the kick pads and the, and the weird torso and everything like that. So you guys will notice down on the kick pads, he's got like his unique kick pad mold, which is cool. You also have... Is just I I don't know man just look at the 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 torso compared to the lower part it's almost like he's got like a from the side the figure doesn't look as bad but I feel like from the front it just looks a little bit odd or or weird or something like that and then the the facial expression is a little bit odd as well but again I feel like it's kind of hard to judge this you know it's you can't really get a full judgment of it until we see what it actually looks like in full production and everything so we'll have to wait that one out but the chuck taylor figure is interesting for sure so we do have our best friends there which is always great you love to see you know more tag teams in our aew figure collections and they're expanding upon the roster here with series number eight and we're getting more people that we have not seen before so that is something that i know a lot of people are going to be excited about and actually in series eight we have three brand new people and then we have three people that we have seen in the past so we'll have to you know just take a closer look at that at the end but the best friends look solid we have trent and we have chuck taylor which is pretty cool i'm just glad to add again a part i'm just happy to add those guys to our collections you know the trent and chuck taylor looking pretty good for the best friends and then the last little render image that we have guys is going to be chris statlander so we have chris statlander again pretty sick you know another another extension of best friends right here and chris statlander looks solid i feel like the face sculpt Kind of looks like Maria Canellas. It's kind of giving me, you know, some Maria Canellas vibes or something like that. But, uh, you know, you get some bright colors and stuff like that. Uh, I like the different colors that we got going on and the tattoos and just everything about it is looking pretty good. Very unique molds. The boots look good as well. You got the knee brace. 
should be a vibrant, you know, a vibrant figure with all this different colors and you got the hair popping off and the face paint and the lime greens and all of these different things. So that should make for a really good figure once it is all said and done and once, you know, again, the render images, it's not just render images, but we actually have the full figure, you know, out there and it's fully there and we can look at all the details. So that will be another thing, but the Chris Statlander looks good and we add another women's figure to our AEW figure collection, which, you know, it's slowly, steadily growing and growing, so that is always awesome there, but that is the three render images that we have. So we have Trent, we have Chuck Taylor, and we have Chris Statlander, but we also have the rest of the figures. Like, let's go ahead and just take a look at the full wave, and we can talk about, you know, what we might get out of the rest of them. So in the rest of this wave, so in the rest of this wave, guys, we do have Chris Jericho, John Moxley, and Orange Cassidy to go along with our Trent, Chris Statlander, and Chuck Taylor, which is absolutely crazy, honestly, because that's, a, you know, it's a Chris Jericho was in Series 6 like two seconds ago. And then, you know, we do have the Amazon exclusive Jericho coming out. And then we have the four pack with the Jericho. And then we probably are going to get some other Jericho or something like that. So uh, the Jerichos are definitely coming out in full force. We also have another John Moxley. When you compare, you know, John Moxley's with the, you know, the two packs again. And then you have his Chase variant figures and stuff like that. Chris Jericho and uh, Chris Jericho and John Moxley definitely have it there. You know, they're multiple figures that they have. So they, they're, they're definitely adding up pretty quickly here. Just eight series in. And then the last figure in Orange Cassidy. Now, this is what I said for Orange Cassidy. The only, like, the best way that they can do Orange Cassidy, in my opinion, is you guys know that the last time that we got him, it was where you could put the hands in the pockets, but the legs weren't that, you know, that poseable. What I would have is have it where you can't put the hands in the pockets on this one and make it where his legs are fully poseable and just make it the exact same way that you made the, the, the Series 3. So make it a re-release of Series 3, but make it where the legs are fully posable, and don't make it where you can put the hands in the pockets. That way you can use your Series 3 figure for your hands in the pockets, and then you can use your Series 8 figure for your posing around and doing matches and stuff like that. So I think that would be the best way to do it. Have it where his legs are fully articulated. You know, he, he can still come with the same cloth jacket, the interchangeable hands, all the different things. Just change up the uh, the legs. Make it where you don't have that soft cloth piece. Make it where it's actual full, like, detailed leggings or joggers. And then have it where it can be fully posed around and it doesn't hinder articulation or anything like that. And then, again, you can use your uh, Series 3 for the, the pockets in looks and stuff like that. And then you can use the Series 8 one to do your full matches and stuff so he can do all the different poses and stuff you needed to while he's wrestling in the ring. So that is what I would do if I were making the Series 8 Orange Cassidy. I'm sure they'll do something like that. I doubt that they'll do the same pocket feature from Series 3. I don't know that, though. They may do that exact same thing, but I feel like we need an Orange Cassidy that is more poseable than that one is. So hopefully that will be the case once we get that. But I think, regardless, the Orange Cassidy figure will still be pretty bomb. But I'm hoping to get an Orange Cassidy that can pose around a little bit better there. So that is your AEW Unrivaled Series 8 lineup, man. We have the full lineup right there. And uh, it's a pretty solid wave. <laughs> I know a lot of people are excited about having, you know, three new characters. But it is three more repeat characters. So, I don't know. A, a lot of people love to uh, get upset about the AEW figures. And they, they love to just lose their minds on the whole line. So... I know how that is, and I can understand it to a certain extent, but, you know, Brad, we'll get more guys in here, especially with the Unmatched Series. You know, we have uh, Unmatched Series 2 and Unmatched Series 3 coming out, and those will, you know, those are going to have a lot new characters in it. And then, uh, you know, AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 9 and 10 will be here before we know it as well. So, I don't know, man. They'll get them out as we get more retail space and stuff like that. Jeremy continued to say it, so... You know, the more retail space that we get and everything like that. I know we still have those two packs and stuff that are releasing too, though. So, I, I don't know, man. Lots of different stuff going on. But let me know down below in the comment section below. Let me know down below, guys, if you guys enjoy AEW Unrivaled Series 8. What do you think of the full wave? What do you think of the render images of Trent, Chuck Taylor, and Chris Statlander? As well as the rest of the figures in the wave. Hopefully, we get good head sculpts for Jericho, Moxley, and then the Orange Cassidy figure does deliver. Hopefully, all those look great. You know, if you're going to repeat characters or if you're going to repeat the same characters, 
Hopefully the, uh, you know, the head sculpts are improving and the accessories are improving or just the figures overall are improving upon those and they're not just the same old, same old. So hopefully those things will be true and uh, we'll get some good figures here for these. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our AEW action figure news, guys. Thank you guys so very much for checking it out. NXT TakeOver tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know down below if you're going to be checking it out. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think of AEW series number 8. And don't cross the line like uh, Vince McMahon would be Uncle Belair. You cross the line.